Is this going in vlog two? This is going in vlog two. Oh, I hope you enjoyed vlog one. Uh, I hope I don't get overshadowed. Probably will. I've always been chill. Hello, I'm Alex McLaren. Oh, I'm Alexis Texas. I'm the DP. Describe to me how this project has gone so far. It's absolutely horrible. I'm eaten by bugs. I'm all hot. It's all gross. David's making me come over after work, working all this time, but it's, it's great. absolutely I'm terrible. Just, no, no. <laughs> it's the worst. It's so bad. I don't know. I'm actually really comfortable outside. I used to go outside all the time. What is your opinion of, of Patrick on set? Patrick is the best whip boy. Okay, I will say, mm -hmm. we've done two really active intensive seeds. Amy, right? Mm -hmm. Connor and Amy have done amazing so far. So it was really great to be a part of that. The biggest challenge for me is just getting to my standard. <laughs> if you want to know, I am not getting in there to save you. I am not doing it. Oh my god, the humanity. Charlotte, I, I'm in, being interviewed right now. What's up, my name's Patrick. I'm Daddy Texas Whip Boys for all the kids out there. That's Alex McLaren, DP's best man. Tell me about some of the locations. What have been some of the challenges? We picked the hardest locations to possibly do this in. I mean, we've got like out in the woods, places you can't even drive to. You had to park like half a mile away and then hike through really tall grass, get into an abandoned building. Or if there's gonna be somebody just randomly walking in like Charlotte, that was perfectly timed. My favorite moment of location scouting is walking through the woods with the crew. Meme machine, Texas McLaren is constantly just dropping the simplest of statements that just sound incredible when they come out of his lips. His back legs are just huge. Yeah, bro. Frogs never skip leg day. You're stuck on a desert island with one of the members of the cast of the crew. Who do you want to be stuck with? I would obviously pick Texas McLaren because he's basically my father. And what more do you need on a desert island with nothing but the skin on your back and stray coconuts? A father figure. Okay, let's get your pooch. All answers and yeah. questions. I'm Anastasia and I do audio. Oh my land! Oh! oh my Ooh, there it goes. It says bam. Bam. <laughs> And give us an update on where things going. Things are going pretty well. I think our actors are very strong. And even though the locations are hard to get to and very difficult and it's always super hot, they're really beautiful locations. It's going to be very aesthetically pleasing. What has been one of the biggest challenges for you so far? Um, the biggest challenge? I don't have a lot of challenges when it comes to shooting out in the woods. The wind, especially since we're a little bit deeper, the wind doesn't affect the mic as much, especially with the equipment we have. Um, my favorite moment of shooting? Probably the scene out in the woods when Connor's getting really mad. We'll say that wasn't probably one of the more difficult for audio because a lot of up and down with volume. What is one celebrity who you absolutely despise? Despise? It's not about the negativity. Well, I'll tell you one actor that I absolutely love is Jake Gyllenhaal. What do you think of Alex? I think he's quite the talent. His cinematography reigns true. Well, if I were to be stuck on a desert island with another cast or crew, it'd probably be Lindsay. I feel like she would be able to whip out a fire real fast. <laughs> I want to thank David for all the hard work he put into this script Aww. and giving us the opportunity to be able to create this product because without the script, we wouldn't have it. Patrick didn't thank me. Do you think you can catch this? Oh, these arms hurt. are meant for holding pens, not for holding law. Hi, my name is David and I'm the director of this project. Those of us left behind, that's the project. The project is those of us left behind. I spent all quarantine playing video games, but Every day I was also pumping iron, so I'm gonna pick up this grill and we're gonna have a steak dinner, baby. You have your tetanus shot? Ah, bugs! Note for future self, bug spray is the name of the game. Why did you choose these locations? They seem pretty uh -huh. hard. The locations had to meet the criteria of being somewhat accessible, as in you can have hike too far to get them. You know, they had to look wild, they had to have relatively low traffic, and I think we achieved all those goals. The hardest part is gonna be getting powered out to all those places. A lot of places have no power outlets, so we're gonna have to either install some power outlets ourselves, or we will need a generator. And I'm not gonna tell you which one we're leaning towards right now. But the greatest challenge is for sure finding love, and but no, the biggest challenge in relating to filming and location scouting is just the, the, the amount of logistical things that need to get tackled, like how to get all the actors out to these locations, how to keep everyone hydrated and cool, because basically every location is outdoors. But those have been the biggest challenges, that's for sure. If I were stuck on a desert island with a member of the caster crew, who would I choose? I'd have to go with Caitlin Gould. Caitlin. She could lead morning Pilates, and then she could probably whip together like a very healthy shake using coconut water and dried shellfish. These are my bug bites. So. I have a secret directing strategy, and I'm gonna let you in on it before I publish my TED talk, but the secret to getting people to do all this hard work for seemingly little benefit is... Uh... 
then that's the WBP guarantee. We might not have a lot of money, we might not have a lot of viewers, but we do have a lot of love. And that's David, signing off. Bye-bye.